I realized early that compared to like other kids at my age, I could draw and I just kept doing it. I have always been making art of some sort. I made movies, I was, I've been a musician for a long time. I didn't paint until college, and then I just kept going. Murals came to be because I just wanted to do bigger paintings. The only thing that's constant in all my work is it's my idea, it's me. The actual style, the thing that a stranger or a layman would look and be like, oh, that's a sick Fisher piece. That's all just trial and error. The evolution of just continuing to work and seeing the things you do and don't like about yourself. And what stays is becomes your style. When I first got to Chicago, moved down south into a big warehouse with lots of other people, and I got involved in a scene with music and art, and there was this big wall where we were living, and no one had painted it yet, so I painted it, and I was just, loved the scale. I loved how big it was. I loved how much you could see from so far away, and the more you got closer to it, the different things you saw. Like, it changes. A mural is so different based on what distance you're looking at it. And from there, I started looking on the internet it's for storefronts, for walls, I didn't know. I actually, one of my first times I ever looked on the internet for a public work was my first public work. And I answered the Craigslist ad, it was like 20 minutes after it got posted. I got my bike and I was there in 30 minutes, talked to the guy and boom, had it. I did it, it was my first time ever doing something like that. He was happy, I was happy. And then a couple months later, I was like, I wanna do this again, but I couldn't find anyone else to let me do it. So I said, hey, dude, let me redo this every season and we'll just make this a big art project. What do you think? It's like, I love it, let's do it. So I did that like three or four times before I got another public work and then it just became, the, the portfolio kept growing. It's very hard to get work as a muralist or a large scale artist without anything to show for it. So breaking into it is hard. And I broke into it with Craigslist of all places. I actually thought about getting the Craigslist like email address tattooed on my arm. That's stupid, but I, thank God I didn't. But I thought about it, because I knew it was like opening something up. I have a strong concentration here where I live and also in Logan Square. And I think that helps me get work as well, because it's, you know, like a, a living portfolio. It's just out there for people to see. And I sign my name on it, so people figure it out after a while. Someone once affectionately referred to me as, as like the mayor of California Avenue. I appreciate the sentiment, but don't call me that. I feel it. I feel present in this neighborhood and I, and I see it in not just the work that is physically visible, but like, you know, people say hi and be like, are you the guy that did this? And it's neat. I never really put a lot of emphasis on keeping my murals there too long. Things go up and down. That is public art. Public art is the least archival of all the art. Think about it, like an oil painting itself that you can move and hide and stuff. That might last longer than anything you paint on a structure. And when I move and stop being able to like monitor all my work, it's gonna get replaced. This is what happens. It is nowhere near the same thing from when I finished the first mural a couple years ago to finishing a big mural now. It's not a euphoric feeling as much as it is, okay, what's next? How do I keep this going? It's almost anticlimactic to finish a big mural at this point, because I've done enough of them, but once it's done, that anticlimactic feeling is very great to me because I'm now like, I feel like a professional. I feel like I'm out there doing my thing. I don't feel like a lot of people get to do this and I feel lucky, privileged, and honored to be able to do it. I do think that the business model that I have kind of like evolved into will allow me to continue to take the work that I find is the right work. Art is like the oldest thing we have. People have been writing stuff on things since the beginning. 
So in a weird way, it's kind of recession proof. Like I might have to evolve my style and my angles to get it, but art is needed. It's wanted. It's like its own thing on a Trivial Pursuit card, you know? Like there's like, I don't know how many colors. There's only five colors, right? Art's one of them, right?